Hey there, my name's Al. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of sculpting, all kinds of 3D animation, a little bit of everything. Uh, this is my third video in this series, so check out the link above to the playlist. But what we're doing here is this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just learned to count today. Seven! Seven channels, uh, YouTube channels that are related to 3D that I think you should follow. Okay? Um, I just got a thousand subscribers not too long ago, so thank you all for the support. And I, for months now, just trying to give back. There will be some large subscribers or large sub count. There's also some uh, very smaller sub count, but I think this is great content. Whether it's just sculpting or learning tutorials, how to do things, I think you should at least check them out. So let's dive in. We're going to start at lowest and then work our way up. So we have Gwex Studio. Brand new channel, it seems to be. We go to about Gwyn, Alex. We have a 2D artist and a 3D artist here. And what drew me to them was their Goofy Sculpt. I'm gonna turn off the sound here. Really cool logo at the beginning, Gwex Studio. So we're just gonna skip ahead. Um, takes you through the whole process, little time lapse of sculpting inside a blender. But look at this uh, final product. Right? Fantastic sculpt. Really good job. Yeah, there it was. See? Love the clay render there. Great job. Wex Studio. Check them out. Currently, they have six subscribers. Let's try to get that to 10. What do you think? So next up, we have 73CK. I think that's how you pronounce it. Been following them for a while now. Really enjoy seeing their sculpts. Uh, sometimes they use Blender. Sometimes they use ZBrush Core Mini. Um, but look how many sculpts uh, this individual has. So lots of time lapses here. But awesome little sculpts. Uh, let's see, this is still five months ago and we've already got this many sculpts. So if you need, uh, not necessarily a tutorial, but just a time lapse um, on how to do something like hair or a cape in Blender, ZBrush Core Mini, this is, uh, this is the channel for you. So lots of cool little, look at that Ninja Turtle. It's fantastic. Definitely check them out. They've got 305 subs, so keep it up. Nicely done. Let's show some love their way if you're interested. Next up, this has got to be French. I just got the La Spatch. I'm not even going to try. I think it says the Spatula of the Future. At least I hope that's what this channel is. Seems French. Maybe not. Who knows? Okay, two things drew me. Look at this font. I don't know if they made the font for these thumbnails. That's what immediately drew me in. I absolutely love every single one of their thumbnails. Except maybe that one. But look at the style of the, the, the thumbnails. It's so great. Let's go ahead and dive in. I really like this one. Turn off the sound. Spatula of the future. So time-lapse video. And look at all these flowy bits. Killer Killer Sculpts, great style. And an awesome, oops, let's go back just a hair. An awesome finish. So well done. They currently have 141 subs. So let's try to bump that up to 150. Next up is Heck. Heck is a channel that does primarily like um, 3D sculpting for toys. Um, no, take that back. 3D printing for like miniatures and then board games, which is super intriguing to me. Been following them for a while now. Let's take a look at their most recent video. Ronin Arts. Oh yeah, look at those sculpts. Fantastic amount of detail. There, there is no reason this person shouldn't have tens of thousands of subscribers because this is insane. And this seems to be like a, a trailer for the game itself, but Heck actually does a lot of the the designing, taking the concept art, 3D, uh, maybe I keep saying 3D printing, 3D sculpting this, maybe they do printing, I'm not positive. Great channel. Check them out, Heck has 896. We can push them past, we can push them past 900, no problem. Next on the list is Rose Red Tiger. Uh, before we dive into this one, let me know in the comments below 
uh, what channels you think I should follow. Love to check them out. Maybe it's your own channel. Just comment. Say, hey, follow my channel. Let me know in the comments below. So Rose Red Tiger, uh, they do, I think I found them based on a Krita video, and they just happen to do really awesome sculpts in Blender as well. I love this rim light style that they've been doing for the past, oh, I don't know, three, four months. Um, crazy good sculpts, crazy good art. I like it a lot. I'm definitely jealous of the of their 2D artwork. Let's take a look at one of their sculpts. Okay, so starting in Blender, doing some hard surface modeling. And let's scooch on forward. Look at the finished sculpt. Yeah, that's awesome. Great presentation. Rose Red Tiger is one of those, still a small channel. Uh, almost three and a half thousand subs. Check them out if you're liking what you see. Next up is more of a podcast. I literally just turn them on when I'm driving, set it down in the car. I don't really watch their stuff. I listen to it. I'm in the shower. They have some fantastic uh, guests on their show. Um, so it's really like a... I like using this channel to pick their brains about the 3D world. Uh, but Art Heroes is, I think, like a like a school or a program you can go through. But like I said, uh, I just use them for like a podcast. So this is game characters from sculpting to texturing. There was one like how to do a YouTube channel for 3D. Uh, lots of amazing content. Um, yeah. I think her name is uh, Maria. Maria JD, I think. I follow her on Instagram as well. She's a part of Art Heroes. They've almost got 5,000 subs, so thank you so much, Art Heroes. So check them out if you don't know about them already. Last but not least is Jim McKenzie. This was suggested in the comments for me to check out. Love their stuff. Obviously, they don't need any help from me, right? They have half a million subs. They are doing fantastic. Uh, but if you ever need some inspiration, obviously this is physical sculpts and paintings. Look at this thing. Get inspired. That is amazing. Fantastic. But yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of stuff. I will continue to do it, whether you like it or not, because I think it's good to give back to people. Help smaller channels, help larger channels, and just kind of build that community. Let me know in the comments below what you uh, what channels you'd like me to follow or check out. I will catch you next time.